barrier or two liter bottles for this next lesson, you'll want to cut off the bottom of them. And to do that, you're going to use a hacksaw and scissors. Do not use an exacto blade, blade, and don't start with scissors. Start by marking the seam around the bottom that's on every two liter bottle so that you have a line to guide your cutting. Because you're going to want this to sit flat when you're done, and this is a nice guideline to follow with the saw and the scissors. Great, and that's marked. Start with the hacksaw, which is included in your kit. When you do that, grab this side far away from the saw. The saw is not very sharp, unlike scissors or an X-Acto blade, and therefore much safer than using either of those, which can easily slip off the two liter sur bottle surface and cut your hand. So I'm gonna start this. scissors into. And I just follow the line with the scissors. Again, keep your hand away from the scissors where you're cutting. Spin the bottle around. Pop out any kinks in it and now you have your lid that you're going to use for humidity experiments. Next part of the clip we're going to show you how to attach the humidity probe to the inside using Velcro. Humidity probes uh, often come with the battery separated and so the back side has a lid you pop off. Slide the battery in. in there to make sure it seats in. It's a little tricky. There we go. Now it's on. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is show how to attach the humidity probe to the inside of the two liter bottle so it can be easily removed uh, between class periods. Uh, the humidity probes you have will have a display for Celsius um, temperature and relative humidity below. You might wanna change the setting on back um, using a paper clip to Fahrenheit, since this is what kids are more familiar with in our country and can draw on their intuitions a little better. So I'm going to um, push into the button up top there where it says C and F. When I do that, we'll see the um, it sets now to Fahrenheit. The button below it also changes from um, relative humidity to relative temperature. I wouldn't, actually, I'm not sure what that other RT is. Let's try that. I want to fiddle with the bottom one, just fiddle with the top. Okay, so now we have a measure of humidity, we have temperature. Um, what we're gonna now do is take some scissors and some sticky Velcro tape, and I'm going to cut off um, this part of the sticky tape, cut it in half, actually more like a, let's go a quarter, because I want it to just sit on the sides. So that we can still read it. So now I have two strips on the side. I'm going to take one of these and attach it to the inside of here. But before I do, I want to make sure to wipe down the inside. It might be wet from when you washed it out. Make sure it's nice and dry. You're taking a paper towel to do that. And you want to blow that out with your hair dryer that you have in your kit as well. Okay, so now I'm going to cut two strips of this. sticky side I'm going to put up right now and the other sticky side I'm going to put up. This is going to allow me to stick it to the side of the bottle at the right distance so that it'll hang there and I'm going to put it right along the side, push in and pull off and I've got my two strips. I've got a location to put my humidity probe. Can remove it easily between classes to air out the bottle, shake both, which you wouldn't want to do when it's in there because it might fly off. Because uh, these take about five minutes to reset to room conditions. 
that's in part because the hole for where the uh, sensor is located for detecting humidity is buried deep inside, right, that vent in back, and it takes a while to get the air in there from the surroundings and the air out that it last detected. So I'm gonna slip that back in there, and then I'll show the next step in a moment of how to set this up for students' experiments. So students will be setting up a variety of environments to see if they can get the humidity of the air to change by placing the dome over that environment and they'll select a bunch of different ones. Uh, I'm going to just demonstrate one of the ones that students might pick from the supplies that you make available. They might decide uh, an ocean beach is something they want to simulate with some sand, maybe make the sand wet and see whether that contributes to the humidity uh, in the air above it. So I added some water to the sand, to make the beach sand, and uh, I'm going to put it over here, put the lid over it, and turn the light on to simulate sunlight, the ground, surface of the earth at some location, and then we'll see what happens to the humidity. Students will probably get results just within a few minutes. Uh, the activity is designed so that given in a five to eight minute period, students will start seeing things happening. We've got about six of these made now, and that took about half an hour.